So coming up after this track, we've got Benny V in the building from Dance Concept. We'll be chatting about the brand new Stevie Hyper D album. Uh, here's something off that album. It's remixed by Cabin Fever UK. This one's Stevie. Yeah, I've got loads of things to say. See? I've got to say lots of things to the people out there, around the world. Because a lot of people say they can do this, say they can do that. Start bragging and boasting and all that. And I'm not really into that. Stand a gun, stand a head, fight for the best, better step. Got the juice, got the rest, and jump, jump, and shake a leg. Keep walking like a best friend, take your head like an infrared. Gun, show it how it's done. Shoot the video like a pizza gun, I'm in a hot bubble, number down, but down. What if I live with a common fish tongue? Dig it, 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 dig
you know what this scene can be like sometimes, Chrissy, and especially with Stevie, there can be a lot of politics involved. So um, I thought, you know, that's done, that's done and dusted. Uh, that'd be the end of it. Yeah. But uh, you know what? It kind of got resurrected, and um, a few people that are important, let's say, the, the most important people, i.e., Nikki Black Market and Daryl, which is uh, ne- uh, Stevie's nephew. Yeah. Um, they were talking positively about perhaps doing a, another album. Um, and I, you know, I saw an opportunity to do a stronger album, uh, more artists. When I say stronger, the first album was strong, but of course, this time around, 21 tracks, bruv. What can I say? I've gone from an eight-track album to a 21-track there's, album. There's a lot of tracks on there, man. And obviously, you know, 10 years old. That's you know, that's that's a long period of time. So you know, music, the music has changed since then. So it's, and, and it's a milestone. Know, so you know, we've got to keep keep the name alive. So you know, it's all good. So um, I tell you, we're getting to another track off the album. This Wicked. one's uh, Jay Dan uh, and Stevie Hyper D, obviously, uh, one of a kind. We come bigger, better, new, improved, even better. Quality tested innovator. I want the vapor, versatile flavor. Chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla and banana. Improving the standards, I'm leaving you naked. I guarantee for life, past test of time. Value for money, yeah, that's my rhyme. One of a kind, blow your mind. I can start the sky shine. One of a kind, blow your mind. I can start the sky shine. Another track taken off the brand new Stevie Hyper D album. That one's courtesy of Jay Dan, entitled One of a Kind. And uh, uh, Benny, what's the, the actual album title? What's it, what's, it, what's it called? The album is called Generation Hyper. It's, the, it's the perfect name. Um, it's actually the name of the foundation that's being set up by um, Stevie's nephew. Um, Stevie's nephew, Daryl, as I mentioned earlier on, he's been doing a lot of work with um, my brother Trip tonight as well, who cool. put on the, um, the tribute rave uh, last year. Uh, so I've got Big Up Trip tonight as well on that one. Um, 
and Generation Hyper, do you know what, it, it, it gives the right message for what the album is. As you mentioned earlier on, 10 years since the last album, and what are we now? 15, 16 years since Stevie passed. Yes. It is the new generation. The people that are, a lot of the people that are raving today, weren't raving when Stevie was alive. Yeah, man. But the thing is, they all know of Stevie Hyper. <laughs> yeah, do you know what, Chris, you're right. You're right, right? At the, at the tribute rave, I see people 18, 19 years, old, uh, years of age singing along to Stevie's lyrics. Yeah. Singing along. I'm thinking, these guys, what, five years old, six years old when Stevie was around? Definitely. And yet they knew his lyrics. Definitely. Says it all. Generation yeah. Hyper. I mean, I've got to big up the MCs as well because, you know, they, they bring a lot of Stevie into like the rave and in their lyrics as well so they hear them they like who's this Stevie like, Habadee they mention who you know who is he of course so I reckon a lot of you know there's a lot of people out there who do do their um, you know research online you know, who's who who is Stevie Habadee so all the yeah, MCs man. all the MCs give him so much love even now so uh, exactly. you're, you're right people hear the name they think who's this Stevie Habadee mentioned at all the raves boom they find out and they know the lyrics easy there you go right so who have we actually got on the album who's 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 done remixes and <laughs> I knew you was going to say this right there was no way, way I was going to remember off the top of my head <laughs> so I sat outside the studio earlier on uh, actually typing them all out right I'll tell you the lineup 21 tracks and I'm just like I'm uh, I'm knocked out uh, the, the main the main fundamental uh, fundamental difference between this album uh, and the first one is whereas before it was it was quite difficult to get people to do tracks this time around people are contacting me knocking down my door trying to get involved um, there's tracks for myself and uh, different levels I uh, got big up Jason that was uh, Stevie's original um, engineer yeah. who we worked with before he passed away uh, there's this one uh, from Heist um, uh, Jaydan who we just played um, Modified Motion done one uh, with Nicky Black Market Cabin Fever UK which you played there's one from Ray Keith one from Congo Natty J Line Savage Rehab Nookie DJ Sly Aries and Papa G, Trip Tonight, Lion Dub, Slip Mat. We well, even got Slip Mat to do a jungle mix. Absolutely yeah. tearing. <laughs> um, Serial Killers, uh, DJ Fantasy, um, Alter Ego, Rico Scoop, Clip and Outlaw, um, who are on um, Fant uh, Fat Man D's label. So that was a yeah. nice little touch because Fat Man was from the uh, Stevie Hyper camp. Uh, we've got one from Terminal State and from Rhythm Beater. Loads of people, man. It's good because, like, you know, it's a mixture of, uh, you know, the crew who were back then, you know, the legends who worked with Stevie. And, uh, you know, the, the other half is, like, you know, the, the new school, the new people as well, which is, um, you, I mean, I guess it's for them. I mean, obviously it would be for me as well, but, like, for people like them, it's, it's you know, it must be an honour getting a Stevie Hyper D vocal on the computer and be like, wow. Well, Chris, this what, is what we're doing. Thing. Yeah, and yeah. This, this goes back to the fundamental difference I was talking about earlier on. Whereas before, you know, the guys I mentioned, and Kenny Ken, absolutely legend within the game. And Kenny and Stevie used to work together live all the time. All you have to do, listen, there's a there's a rave for them in Canada. It's one of the most famous Stevie Hyper raves there is. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's known that Kenny always worked with Stevie. Brocky always worked with Stevie. Whereas this time around, you know, the J Dans of the world, it's their opportunity to sort of like contribute. And I know they've been really keen to do so. And I've got to big them up. Chris, let me ask you, because Go at the end it. of the day, like, <laughs> listen, you, you always knew Stevie was, but he was predominant before perhaps you were. Yeah. So what does Chrissy mean to you? Uh, what does Stevie mean to you, Chrissy? <laughs> 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 Nor does Chrissy mean to you. We'll be here all night. <laughs> um, you know, it's because like, where I was growing up with, with Kenny and stuff, um, for all those who don't know Kenny Ken's his stepdad, who is an actual DJ as well. So, you know, I, he, I used to get tapes and listen to tapes. So I was like forced into listening, listening mm. to tapes of of Kenny. Um, at, well, mostly out, you know, doing doing gigs which on, on the tape packs. And majority was, was Stevie. So that's where I'd heard of Stevie. Um, my mum ran an agency which had Stevie on, you know, my mum was booking agent for Stevie. Stevie used to come around now. You know, these people were just any people to like, you know, oh, hi, Steve. Like, <laughs> I would be like, I don't know, I think I was like five or six, seven, you know, just like, you know, these are just guys that come around, come around. Oh, hi, Steve. I don't know what they do. I've never been out, sort of thing. So that's how, you know, I saw Stevie. But then where I grew into the scene a bit more, that's how I found Stevie and be like, wow, he's, you know, he's amazing. And then when I found out he passed, I was like, wow what's going on this do you remember i remember the day i remember um i remember the day i was i was actually i come home from school mm -hmm. you know the, the 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 vibe was a bit weird mm -hmm. <laughs> and i was like no what's going on obviously my mum said you know some, someone's passed away in the scene and then i think that night um a lot of people from the agency came around so i think we had like dj rap um and a couple more i think oh, i can't remember who else came around but I think that night there was um, Ray Keith had a show on another station we can't mention. But, um, but yeah, and, and it all went down there. And actually, on that show, 
um, I do remember a track that I've never heard again. I, I think it was Stevie. Um, it was it was definitely on top of a Timberland beat, and it was it definitely was um, an Aaliyah track. I think it was, and it was the wickedest track that Stevie had done. You know his lyrics over, and to this day I still can't find that track. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I'll have to investigate. But that. I'm, I'm still hunting I that track. I want to hear it myself. I want to hear it myself. I'm gonna have to investigate that and see what it that was. It was such a wicked track. Even like I even like loved the original instrumental as well. So um, yeah, that's definitely one I'm hunting down. It's one of them tracks. You know, just got in your head like I need that. What is that track? But yeah, that was the day. That was the day. So Weird. yeah, man. But um, obviously, Stevie, that was very, very, very long time ago. So it's good to see um, two. Well, number album number two, which is going to be coming out when March the third. So we have got a good couple of months on that one. Yep. And um, yeah, man. I mean, what's what's going to be like? You know, happening around it? Is there going to be you know another event or something like that? Good question. Um, uh, trip tonight. Who I mentioned earlier on. He's uh, he's he's looking into venues at the moment. Perhaps we're going to do a launch party. Mm. Um, we'd like to if we can. Um, but we'll we'll see. We'll see on that one. The the, uh, the 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 pot is cooking on that one, as they say. Definitely, definitely. Let's get another track off the album. This one's from Fantasy. And. Someone. Reaction. Reaction. Yeah, that's just jumping in that one. Sorry, Chris, let me do your job for you. <laughs> this one from Fantasy and Reaction. This is Radio 1 Extra. Thank you, Benny V. Oh my right. god. Another track off the album, Generation Higher Pass, Stevie Hyper D. So plenty of tracks uh, we could play on the show, but the show is crazy tonight. And uh, don't worry, we've got loads of shows coming up. We're going to be repping this all the way up till it comes out. So it's all good. What's, um, you know, the sort of, what's the sort of preparation for putting out an album for Stevie Hyper D? Biggest name in drum and bass, should we say? It's a lot of pressure. How do you deal with it, Benny? Do you know what? I don't. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Like, uh, everyone who's um, who's around me, I, I've got big up JK and, and Raiden as well, by the way. Everyone who's around me, they know, they see the stresses I go through. This is, Chris, I have to say, um, you mentioned earlier on, I've been putting on parties um, for like well over 10 years, but this is single-handedly the, the biggest task I've ever done. Yeah. Easily, but by a country mile. Um, the one the one person in the scene who's like been the the biggest rock for me and the one person that I, I lean on the most is Nicky Black Market. I, 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 put it this way, Chris, the album wouldn't be happening if it weren't for Nicky because of Nicky's been there for the start for me. He supported me. He's given me guidance. He's, he's been the one rock for me. Um, so the pressure's been there, but do you know what? I, I think it's going to be worth it, Chris, because I'm so pleased with, with, the, with the quantity of tracks 
that are um, that are uh, on the album and yep. the quality of the tracks and the uh, versatility as well. So um, definitely, man. it's going to be worth it, Chris. Look forward to it uh, out in March, but I'll definitely let everyone know beforehand. All good. And uh, Benny, God, thank you for coming in, man. And nope. um, join me some tracks and, uh, you know, some, some information. Chris, no worries. Stay in touch. Thank you very much for having us down. And, no um, problem. Dan and Sophie, uh, the, uh, the the producers here as well. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, hopefully maybe see you soon, yeah? Wicked. No problem, man. Welcome anytime, Benny. Wicked. <laughs>